Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Macy Lee, and I'm the manager of science and programs with Curves. Today, we've got a great topic to discuss, hidden sugars. Sugar consumption is at an all-time worldwide, worldwide high. It's estimated that there is approximately 180 million metric tons of sugar consumed each year. And this is close to 20. 4 million metric ton increase in just the last 10 years. The United States top, tops the sugar consumption chart with the average American consuming 126 grams or roughly four and a half ounces or 27 teaspoons a day. This equals to just about 102 pounds a year. This equals over four tons throughout one's lifetime. Those numbers are mind boggling. Australia is not far behind where the average Australian consumes 95.6 grams per day, which is equal to about 77 pounds per year. And Canadians consume 89.10 grams per day, or just about 72 pounds per year. The National Cancer Institute has found that children between the ages of 14 and 18 consume the most sugar, with 34.3 teaspoons per day, which is approximately 130 pounds per year. With the spike in sugar consumption over the past 50 years, we have also seen a rise in health concerns that can be directly linked to sugar consumption, such as obesity, diabetes, and certain cancers. Mind-blowing. So let's first stop, start by reviewing the definition of sugar. What exactly is sugar? As defined by Webster's Dictionary, it's sweet, crystallizable material that consists wholly or essentially of sucralose, a colorless or white when pure, tending to be brown when less refined. It's obtained commercially from sugar cane or from sugar beet and less extensively from sorghum, maples, and palms. And it's an important source of dietary carbohydrate and it's used as a sweetener and preservative in other foods. To fully understand sugars, we must also understand then what is a carbohydrate. A carbohydrate is a various natural compound of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which are formed mainly in green plants. The definition of a carbohydrate is that by all carbohydrates are sugars. This does include fruits, vegetables, starches, as well as those sweet ones that we automatically think about, cookies, cakes, and candies. Carbohydrates, though, are essential. They're an essential macronutrient for your body. You need to consume them every day to sustain bodily functions. When they're digested, they're converted to glucose. And with the assistance of a hormone called insulin, they are absorbed into the bloodstream. And glucose is what your body uses for energy, for fuel. But as we mentioned before, the good carbohydrates, the good sugars are the fruits, vegetables, and starches with fiber. The ones we need to be careful of are those refined ones. Did you know that sugar has 56 different names? Here they are. Wow, malt, barley, beet sugar, brown sugar, buttered syrup, cane juice. It goes on and on and on. So I'll let you guys look at that list. You may even want to pull out your phone and take a quick screenshot. So we're gonna talk about some of these in just a moment. Sugar, as I just mentioned in its many different forms and names are added to many of our processed foods. This extends the list, the life of that product. So let's go into why there's many reasons why we would do this. One, it actually helps prevent spoilage. In products such as whole grain, fiber-rich breads and cereals, sugar helps extend the, the shelf life. It, it assists in fermentation and in moisture retention. Now in dairy products, anything that's listed as low fat or non-fat, sugar has been added in to enhance the flavor or texture. So there's something to think about. And sugar is also added into other products to help balance acidity. So again, here's a list. Another great thing to take a quick picture of, of all of these different things that sugar is added into that we normally wouldn't think of. 
Now, I know most of us read nutrition labels this day and age, and most of the time we're looking to see how many calories are in a product or the carbohydrates, fats, proteins that product may have. And while these are important to look at, it doesn't necessarily give us the whole picture. I want you to look at these two nutrition labels. They're pretty close in carbohydrates and proteins. How do we know which one is better for us? How do we know how to make that better choice? We need to look at the list of ingredients. Ingredients are listed by weight or by volume used in that product. So looking at this product, the very first ingredient is sugar. This means that this product is primarily sugar. That's its number one ingredient. Let's look at the second product. Sugar isn't even listed on there. Does that mean that there's no sugar in this product? Look a little closer. Some of those names we listed earlier are listed on here and I kind of put little arrows to help you find them. So what were these two products? Well, the first one was a fun size Snickers candy bar. The second one was a Kashi banana chocolate chip soft and chewy bar. Both of them kind of in those sweet treats. One of them marketed to be healthier than the other, but as you can see, it had sugar just listed differently. Here's a few more examples. As you can see, sugar isn't always listed in the first five ingredients, but there are hidden sugars in there. I want to challenge you to start looking for hidden sugars on your product labels. This may be a challenge at first because as we discussed, there's 56 different names and I'm certainly not expecting you to memorize that list, but the more you get to looking at them, the easier they're going to become to identify. Look, you can see I've highlighted a bunch of them on there for you, a lot of different sugars in each of these products. And can you believe one of these was just ketchup? If you would like more information on reading nutrition labels or just on overall balanced nutrition for good health, ask your Curves coach about the Curves Nutrition and Weight Management Program. And if you don't have a local club, go to curves.com and click on programs, then nutrition and weight management for more information. Now, I know we're coming up on the holidays, so I wanted to give you a sweet treat that wasn't loaded in sugar. So I've put a recipe link in the chat box for all of you to click on so that you can download that recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to answer any questions you may have.